Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about which one you should use to build your website, WordPress or Webflow? Let's get right into it. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the pros and cons of WordPress and Webflow, the differences between each and which one is the best solution for you as you start to build out your website. I'm gonna grade both platforms on the following four criteria. The steepness of the learning curve, your customization ability in each platform, the amount of coding knowledge you need to use both platforms, and then finally, on price. So, without further ado, let's get right into this thing. WordPress or Webflow? All right, so let's start with WordPress. What is WordPress? WordPress is an open source website builder that 40% of people in the world use to build their websites. It's the most popular website builder in the world. All right, so let's get into the pros of WordPress. WordPress is an open source software. This means that there's extensive knowledge and resources out there for you when you begin to build your website. If you have a question, if you need some sort of custom solution, chances are someone has built something for you for free that you can use in your site. Now the second huge pro of WordPress is that there is hardly any learning curve when you're getting started. Now why is this? Well in WordPress, you build your website with the use of themes pre-built templates that other people have put together for you that you get to download for free and build your website with. This is awesome because it's super fast and super easy to get started. You go to their marketplace, you download a theme, and all the design decisions are already made for you in a pre-built template. You populate and edit the text, and you go on your way. It's very easy to get started, it's very simple, and all your design decisions are already made for you. All you have to do is hit a couple buttons and customize the theme with the pre-built options. Now a third pro of WordPress is that it's actually amazing for blogging. If you're starting a blog, WordPress is probably for you. Why is this? Well, WordPress started out as a blogging software. So that's where it came from. That's where it started. Now because of this, they have a lot of great blogging functionality built in, such as tags, categories, things like that. So if you're making a blog, WordPress is for you. And finally, the last pro of WordPress is that it's cheap. It's an open source, free software for you that you can use for free as you wish. The only thing you have to pay for is the hosting and the domain name, which you can do using different services, not on WordPress. But WordPress itself is free to use. So let's move on to the cons of WordPress. The main con of WordPress is that you lack any real customization ability. Whatever you gain in ease of use upfront by using these templates and different plugins, you lose on the back end in customization ability. You're not able to really customize your website down to the pixel so that you can build out your perfect vision of your perfect website. These themes are pre-built and they kind of lock you into what you can do. They'll give you different design options, but outside of most of the time changing colors and fonts and maybe some positioning, you're really locked in to your template and you can't really break out of that box. That leads me to the second con of WordPress, which is if you do want this customization, you're gonna need to know how to code and you're gonna need to know CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. You'll have to go into the actual backend files in WordPress and update your style sheets, et cetera, et cetera, to actually get the look, the feel, and the structure that you want for your website. Otherwise, you're stuck with the pre-built templates. So that's WordPress. Let's move on to Webflow now. What is Webflow? Webflow is a no-code visual website tool. In Webflow, you drag and drop different elements on the page in front of you as you build your website. What are the main pros of Webflow? Well, the main pro of Webflow is you have complete customization. What do I mean by this? Unlike in WordPress where you have to use pre-built themes and you're kind of locked into those themes, in Webflow, you have complete control of your website down to the pixel. You actually build your website from the ground up and you have unlimited styling options. You're not locked into a pre-built theme like in WordPress. That's the main pro. Now, the second main pro of Webflow is that you do this all visually in front of you with the use of a drag and drop mechanism. So you're actually dropping div blocks and sections inside of one of another. You have complete styling options with different fonts and paragraphs and text, links, nav bars, et cetera. All of this, you drag and drop and you build it out in front of you like Legos. It's not pre-built for you and you're not locked into specific themes. You can do whatever you want. You're in an open playground. This allows the design and development process to become one, which is a huge benefit because usually like in WordPress, you need to have a design in mind and then actually have a developer or someone to code that design to life for you. In Webflow, 
the design and development fuses into one process visually in front of you. It's a huge plus. And then lastly, one of the main pros of Webflow is that the animations that you can do with the click of a few buttons absolutely opens up the world for you and takes your website to the next level. With other website builders, you need to know JavaScript and CSS to create any animations. In Webflow, you do all this with a couple clicks. This is what really sets your website apart more than anything else. Are these little animations that you can do in Webflow without needing to know how to code at all. It's huge. Now the cons of Webflow. One, there is a steep learning curve. In order to be able to know how to build these sites, structure them, style them, etc., visually in front of you, you need to really invest time and effort into learning how to use this tool. Now, there are a lot of classes on Webflow University that you can use, but it's gonna take you a couple weeks probably to really get the hang and really master Webflow. And then lastly, Webflow does cost more than other website builders like WordPress because you're paying for this ease of use, you're paying for this visual website editor that's right in front of you. All right, so that's pros and cons of WordPress and Webflow. Now, let's get on our teaching hats and let's give out some report cards here. Which one should you use for your project? All right, so the first criteria we are grading on is the steepness of the learning curve. All right, so WordPress, I'm gonna give an A2 on steepness of the learning curve. It's a very easy to pick up right off the bat. You download a theme, you download a template, and you're off to the races. Webflow, on the other hand, I'm going to give a C because it does take a lot of time and effort to learn the ins and outs of Webflow and to really be able to harness the powerful tool that it is. All right, so let's move on to customization. Ability to customize your website down to the pixel. WordPress, I'm going to give a D to. Why is this? Again, you're locked into certain templates and themes, and if you don't know how to code, it's a very difficult to actually customize your website to what you are envisioning. Webflow, on the other hand, this is its main strength. A plus for Webflow in the category of customization. Again, when you're building this out visually in front of you, you have control of your website down to the pixel. All right, so let's move on now to code heaviness. How much code do you need to know in order to use both of these platforms? WordPress, again, I'm going to give a D here because if you want customization at any level, you need to know how to code at least the basics of HTML and CSS so that you can go into your style sheets and the back end of your website and tweak things as you need. Webflow, on the other hand, I'm going to give an A. Most of the time, 95% of the time, you do not need to know how to code in Webflow. Everything's visual and you can do animations with a click of a button. Sometimes you do wanna do a couple different add-ins uh, and customization things with your HTML blocks, but for the vast majority of time, you don't need to know how to code to use Webflow. Okay, and lastly, let's grade both of these on price. WordPress, I'm going to give an A2. It's a free open source software. Pay for your hosting and you're good to go. And then Webflow, I'm going to give a B2. You do need to pay to use this tool, this powerful tool, but it's not that expensive, uh, you know, 16 to $20 a month. All right, so those are our grades. Now, what is my final judgment? Which one should you use to build your website? Well, drum roll please. I think you should use Webflow. Now I know, I'm a homer. I built an entire YouTube channel based off Webflow. If you're building a professional website, a custom website, a vision that you have, Webflow is your best option. Invest the time up front to learn how to use this tool, and I promise you, you can thank me later. Anyways, thank you so much guys for being here. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go down and like it. I really appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you all next week. Thanks for being here. Peace.